Hey, very good Tuesday evening, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Aggieland Carpet One forecast from the Pinpoint Weather Center. We had some humdinger of some storms across the Brazos Valley today. Winds in excess of anywhere from 40 to close to 70 miles per hour in parts of the Brazos Valley. That is all moving away from us, though. Drier air is moving in, and that's going to give you a more comfortable feeling. Yes, we call it a cold front, but it's not actually going to cool down in terms of your daytime highs by much. Here's what it looks like over the next uh, couple of days. In the morning tomorrow, most of us are in the low 70s. 60s are just up the road. The thing about drier air moving in, one, your afternoon heat will actually feel like what the temperature says out there, but your overnight lows can cool off a little quicker, which means we expect to wake up in the 60s Thursday morning and round out the day. It's going to be a pretty big swing, probably closer to 100 by Thursday afternoon. So let's run you through your Wednesday first. Overnight tonight, most of us low to mid 70s, some upper 60s out across our northern and northeastern counties. Then we go through the day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, a few clouds here and there. Remember that drier air can warm up decently quick, which pushes us around a comfortable 85 degrees at lunch, daytime highs 95 to 96 for most of the Brazos Valley with light east to northeast winds. Then it's the 60s Thursday morning, upper 90s, close to 100 Thursday and Friday afternoons. But again, not a whole lot of moisture there. That moisture will be coming back by the end of the weekend, beginning of next week, which with the Gulf of Mexico connection, a little more moisture, we may be able to pull off a few scattered to isolated afternoon showers and thunderstorms. It should be a nice feel first thing in the morning. Grab your coffee. Get up with us. Brazos Valley this morning. Kick starts at 530, ends at 7. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari, she's back with you then. And, of course, any details you need on the forecast, well, they're up at kbtx.com.